Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hannig, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We're going to show the ultimate hip flexor stretches times three, standing, kneeling, or lying. Same stretch, three different positions, Bob. Pick out the one you like the best, and uh, sometimes I do both. And uh, I'll do two. Sure. Right. I, yeah, I've got one as my favorite, uh, but... If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, if you have a minute, uh, what are we giving away, Liz? Anything right now? Liz is going to... We're giving away the Flexa Spot. Do we have it here? Oh, yeah, we got it right here. If you go to Bob and Brad, or if you even look down below, you'll see a link to the contest. But join us on Instagram, too, especially if you guys are Instagram people. Right. Like, you like to have crackers right away. Graham crackers. That's Instagram. my favorite. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's Brad's joke. Official Bob and Brad. There you go. All right. Let me just show the flexa spot real quick, Brad. So this sure. is a desktop riser that they're giving away. Laptop. I always say desktop. But it, it's, it's, it's portable. Well, that's the cool thing about it. It's got, like, five different levels. And it goes up and down. And, you know, and then you can take it down. And it allows you to get your computer screen yeah. at the right level or, if, you know, depending on the height, you can stand while you yeah. work, et cetera. But, Bob, talking about standing, we're talking about hip flexors. And before I show you the three stretches, uh, we were just talking about this with uh, some of our patients and your wife. If you show someone what's going on with their body, they can remember it, and it all comes together. It gives you a little motivation to go after it and my, do it my right. Mom, my mom. My wife. <laughs> I call her my mom. She she just has the greatest difficulty understanding which direction and why that works to stretch a muscle. Right. You know, like she'll think to stretch the hamstring, you have to go this way. Yeah. You know, and no, that's strengthening the hamstring. Right. So this this de demonstrates really well how how you're stretching these muscles. And if you haven't seen our channel, this is Sam. Sam, this is our skeleton who uh, helps us out in times yeah, of he's need. He's not communicado today. We there got the, go. the tape on. So when we're talking about hip flexors, I'm actually looking at three different muscles. Oftentimes, people are referring to the psoas because it's one of the major muscles. And that one connects to the spine, the lumbar spine, and then goes down to the, uh, the femur at this location. And so when that contracts, uh, it's important, that muscle is important because it does connect to the spine. If it gets pro tight, you can get back pain associated with it. That's why it's always related. But we should remember the blue one here. Can you zoom in on this, Liz? Can, I want to make sure people are very clear on this. Uh, the iliacus muscle, the blue one, and that connects up to the, the ilium, but it goes connects up to the same location as the psoas, and they work together. They, they call them the iliopsoas. The iliopsoas. Yeah. There you go, Bob. Thank you. And then let's not forget the rectus femoris. Yep. Now, this is a biarticulate muscle, Bob. Two different joints. It crosses over the hip and it goes over the knee joint, it connects up to the tibia. Now, when that one contracts, it also helps flex. But you got to, this is a key on when you do particularly the standing stretch we're going to show. Watch what happens to this. Can you zoom in? If I bend the knee. Look, you see really well how that muscle stretches out. Yep. And that's what I like about this demonstration, Brad. Does that show up, Liz? So if we extend the hip, watch this muscle. Look at the letters on this uh, K to kinesio tape. When we extend the hip, it stretches. But if you want to give it a double whammy and stretch it even more, you extend the hip and, and you bend, bend the, the knee. knee. Yeah. Then you're going to get both the iliopsoas and the rectus femoris. If you want to isolate and just get that psoas or the iliopsoas, then you're going to have to keep your knees straight so that this does not actually... So you're going back like this. Right. So... I always find stretching the ilio, the rectus femoris is a little bit painful if you get after it. I'm going to take it off now so we take our attention off to that. And There's that old joke, do you wreck them, damn near killed them? <laughs> I, I wrecked this, damn Bob, near Bob, why Bob? I this know, is I a just, family uh, show. I don't remember the, 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 the gist of the joke, but... So let's look at these, the ilio. So if you can, I, now I put these horizontal lines here, not because that's the direction of the fibers of the muscles, which it's not. The fibers go this direction. But you can see if we extend the hip. You can see, see how the lines spread apart. Right. So he's, again, stretching it. Yeah, that's how you stretch the muscle by getting the femur to go this backwards direction, which we call extension. So keep that in mind. Because what we're going to do here is exactly that. We're going to extend the hip. Now, these are common muscles that get tight 
uh, when you sit a lot. Right. Because you, know, you can see if you sit a lot, they, they can shrink over time or shorten over time. Right, because when this is flexed, yeah. you can see how that muscle actually becomes slack. slack and yep. it can tighten up on you if you yep. sit day after day after day. And then so if it gets too tight, then it really can cause more stress on the back. So as a sitting society, you really want to make sure that you are stretching this muscle. Right. Because the other thing is to do... It can do the reverse. It can pull you over a little bit sure. if it's tight like this. And that's so. why we put on the flexi spot desk rider because the right. two relate. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Wow, you just there you, you go, Bob. Pull that out of your. I'm, I'm in attention. Now this is a standing one. I said uh, the thing is times three. There's three different positions you can stretch this. Now if I put my foot back here, look at the lines on my on my pants. If I go back this direction. Remember, it stretches that hip flexor. Now, if I bend my knee some more and go down, it bends the knee, and then I'm also getting the rectus some more. So I'm getting all three muscles in the hip flexor group. Now, I'm going to use the old booyah stick because I need a little balance. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm really getting a good stretch there. If I straighten my knee out a little bit and stretch it out, then I'm going more after that iliopsoas group. Now, what I do, I, I'm actually, for an exercise, I do... Lunges like this, so, so I'm you getting get some strength, quad one strength, strengthening exercises, and I'm stretching my hip at the same time. Now I, I understand very this efficient, is, right? But this is kind of advanced. If you're not uh, an athletic person, you haven't been working out much, or you're elderly, this probably is not an option. Yeah, we don't want you to fall and, and break right. some. But it was easier than I thought, Brad. Yeah. When I saw you doing this, I thought, "Wow, this is really tough." Yeah. But I was able to do it, which says something. Right. <laughs> But that's why we have the second and third option. If you cannot do this one, you can maybe do number two. You can dial it down. Yeah, and number three is the one laying on your back, which pretty much most sure. everyone can do. Okay, so now I'm going to do that. I, I, I'll do 10 squats on each leg three times. But if you just want to stretch, you may want to go pressure on, pressure off, or you just may want to hold a stretch for up to 30 seconds and do that three times. That's going to give you a good, complete stretch. Now, you could do just the rectus for more, you know, standing too like this. Sure. You know, yeah. Uh, maybe even get a little bit of the ilia, iliosolus too. Right. But um, I usually finish up by doing this one. And um, you'll feel it yeah. right in through here when right. that rectus morse gets stretched. It's, it wakes you up a little bit. Yeah, it does. All right. So, kneeling. Now, you want me to show that one, Sure. Brad? Why don't you go ahead, Bob? It's nice to do this one on a carpeted floor or get a pillow or something if you're on a hard floor so that you don't hurt your, your knees. Which it's... one do you want me to put this one forward? Yep, do that one. Okay. And... Okay, let's bring this hand up out of the way. Oh, there okay, you go. There we go. So if we're looking at Bob here, now he's going to stay up with good posture. And look how the femur is extending backwards just like on sam the skeleton now we're stretching we got a little bend in the little knee bend in the knee yep now a little trick that bob brings up oftentimes is he's going to move his foot out out away yep. from his body that actually internally rotates the femur which adds a little more stretch yep. it's one of those physical therapist tricks, tricks yep. secrets that we're giving out no charge today on that <laughs> trick huh and now there are some people, depending on your body, you know, if you lean forward, no, uh, flex forward your trunk. Oh, like this. Yep. Now, I don't particularly like this. I, I did read an article, and they said, yeah, that still stretches it, which it probably does, and it depends. I always like to keep upright posture. If, it you just know. seems like, I don't know, you do go at a, di a little different angle, and it, it does change it a little bit. Sure. So, I mean, you can do both. Or Right. Uh, yep. You listen to your body, what yeah. works well. Of the two, I'd probably prefer ours. Yeah. So. And again, uh, you know, if you do three reps of 30 seconds or... Uh, if you want to go pressure on, pressure off, 10 reps, I think that's going to give you a good, sufficient stretch. Absolutely. Make sure you do both legs. Otherwise, it'd be like a duck in the water with one leg. You would swim. You got it right. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. Okay, so do both sides. Now, the last one is, is laying on your back. And this is for, you know, anybody can do it. But if you have... You want me? Or are you going to do it? No, I'm going to do it. Okay. If you have oh, any yeah, you got the stripes. Yeah, if you have any concerns about... Uh, falling or anything like that this is safe um and i, I do like this one because i can really relax the well. only thing about this one is don't fall off the bed <laughs> right i mean it's not completely safe because you do have to get to the edge of the bed so if you're laying on the edge of the bed just bring your hips and your legs over you don't right. have to bring your shoulders exactly over. then you get tippy um 
Th these can be solidly on the bed. Right. Now, this may seem funny to certain people, but as therapists, you don't want to, we've come, you know, you probably and I have come close to having some people tip on oh, the bed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've had people fall out of bed without a doubt. <laughs> Not doing the exercise, oh, but I mean, they fall out of sure, bed. Sure, right. I, mean, yep. I know. So oh. we're aware of that stuff intimately. So look at the stripes. Now, right now, my hip is a neutral. If I keep my knee straight and I go down, my rectus femoris, that long muscle, is not getting stretched, so I'm isolating the iliopsoas muscle, and I can feel it right there. Now, if I want to incorporate the rectus femoris and get all three muscles, whoa, and I can feel that too. Oh, wow, Bob. What Listen. you'll see sometimes actually is when, if a person is tight, you, when he bends this, it actually comes up a little bit. Sure, yep, yeah. yep. So, there. Yeah, that's, a, that's an intensive stretch. And if you want to lock the pelvis in more even, you can grab this one, right, Brad? Good, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. And I like that. It, it feels good. Um, you know, this is a nice stretch. You know, and if you move your body this way a little bit, you can vary the degree of intensity. Now the bed is supporting some of that femur and that leg weight. It's not quite as intense yeah. as when I get a full hang right there. If you're really tight, you might even feel a stretch if you have the leg up here like this and pull, just pull this one up like this. Yeah. You, you might, yeah. You, if you're really tight, you might start off that way with the leg on the back. Yeah. So when you do this, all of a sudden that knee yeah, comes, it comes up. up like that. Then just you know you're tight. Yeah. yeah then, then you need to do this one yeah, on a then, regular this basis. Is, this is the one of yours that you need to put in your repertoire every day. So, so I, I really feel that those are the ultimate hip stretches, Bob. Otherwise, I wouldn't have titled it that All way. right, we have 10 seconds, Brad. We we're, can fix just about anything. Except for? A broken heart. But we're working on that, too. All right, thanks for watching. We do that at night when we're sleeping.